Hi, I'm Dave with Cadet Heat. Joining me is Steve with the Cadet Heat Tech Department. Now, Steve, I, I can, this is on and it feels great, but I can hear just like a slight uh, a buzz and then occasionally a pop. What's going on? Okay, well, with a new heater, getting it installed, mounting it to your wall, uh, you have a little bit of a bow occasionally or a little bit of uneven space. And with the heat and contraction, uh, that causes the elements sometimes to make a ping sound or a high pitch sound. Before we get to work here, because okay. this is hot, okay. what do we do? Since the heater's been on for a little while, mm -hmm. we can go ahead and turn off the breaker now and do these adjustments. So, what's guiding so what me we're going to do uh, is uh, we've anchored this heater with two screws. Mm -hmm. So, we'll go ahead and loosen those. Um, once it's loose, we have the two end plate screws. Mm -hmm. We'll go ahead and unloosen this ground. Now that the element's loose, these are loose, we can kind of tap it a little bit mm -hmm. and uh, let it align itself. And then basically we're just going to reverse that process. Okay, great. This is my favorite part, watching someone else work. <laughs> you no, know, it makes a lot of sense because there's no such thing as a straight wall in any house. So what you're just doing is kind of giving this heater an opportunity to better fit this exact wall. Right, and what you're doing is just allowing the element to free itself uh, and just allows it to conform. All right, well, we've turned the breaker back on. That's important if you actually want heat Correct. and um, feeling the warmth, but not hearing the buzz. Great. Good job, Steve. Well, thank you. Uh -huh. I'm Dave with Cadet Heat. I'm Steve with the Tech Department. We appreciate you watching. Thanks.